Hi, I'm Symphoniers, and I made Mythic pretty quickly this month. I'm going to immediately decay out of these numbers, but shh, let me have this. Um, and I thought it would be interesting to make some videos on the two decks I took most of the way there. I'll be covering Dragonstorm in today's video and a Halvar deck in Friday's video. So Dragonstorm, decent deck, 60% or so win rate was all the way up at 80% at points. Or 70, 70, 80. For how silly a deck is, it is, I'm pretty happy with its overall performance. So the basic idea is that instead of playing a normal sane is a dragon shell, we cram in a bunch of cantrips and stuff like Ancestral Anger, um, we target Goldspan Dragon with it, once we've cast a few spells we cast Show of Confidence, that pumps out just a ton of treasures, every time it targets Goldspan you get a treasure, and then we use that giant pile of mana to rip through the deck, like play out a smoldering egg, flip it, cast a bunch more spells, ping people down repeatedly. Or occasionally the deck can just fall back to a sensible combat kill. <laughs> um, Ancestral Anger, Show of Confidence in particular, is a nice combination for just e even just getting Leer nice and thick and, you know, punching on through for lethal damage. So yeah, not not a crazy complicated deck in terms of the, the basic gist of it, but playing it can be a little complicated, a little weird. Oh, and I should mention I'm not the original creator of the deck, someone else killed me with it and then I rebuilt it based on what I saw them play, so sorry I didn't take down your name, whoever you are, but your, your deck's good, your deck's cool, thumbs up. Okay, let's get on to some games. Ooh, this hand is a patchy hand. Opponent goes first too. If they're playing aggro, we can play out a mountain ancestral anger on their creature. Um, use that to buy a little bit of time or get literally any value out of our turn two and then get up to Prismari Command and stuff. This is a really iffy keep, but you take risks sometimes. Oh, swamps. Okay. Um, that's promising. Not, not great, or like not auto win or anything. I I do wish they'd played a creature again, just for the ancestral anger thing. Now we can Prismari command. Oh, pardon me, my headphones are wiggling around. Uh, sure. I assume they hit the Prismari command. We have redundancy for the expected windfall. We're pretty happy ditching a UC guard approach to the windfall because we don't have any big creatures to attack yet. And yeah, so they do the sensible thing. Pew pew. Get angry, Paulo. Get mad. Don't take life's lemons. Demand to see life's manager or something. I forget the Cave Johnson quote. It's a good quote, but falls out of my brain. Um, mm, Soren. If we can grab some Fading Hopes to tuck the tokens, down. that would be good. You yeah, I think we just take well. three. So they're getting things on board. Their clock's not incredibly fast, but it is definitely a consideration. Um, I'm going to just Windfall Sorcery Speed, honestly. We could drop the mountain, we have a backup windfall. Leer is handy. And would be handier if we'd hit... Um, now we should try to untap some treasure, I think. If we can grab a gold span dragon or luck into one, that would be very helpful. Hmm. They are aggressive, so the matchup might be worse than I thought. Ooh, it's worse than I thought. Luminar Casperins and stuff is pretty nasty versus our deck. Going to tap that, actually. Save ourselves four points of life. Yeah, we can survive another turn? Probably. Hopefully. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 or so. We're probably taking 11 points of damage next turn. 
Um, if I did that math correctly, we can do some things, though. Let's windfall away a mountain. Love a sorcery speed windfall. No, I don't. Um, sometimes they're necessary. Oh, I just hard punted this match, didn't I? Oh, oh no. Whoops. Well, I say hard punted. Oh, fading hope. There we go. That's a way to not die. I think, for some reason, I glossed over the Prismari Command and did the Windfall. I do think Prismari Commanding down Paulo there's better. You wish to know my secrets? Resolve. Very well. How are they kicking? They're kicking. That's pretty good for us. Fading Hope, Adeline. Do gotta burn a treasure here. Do not need another show of confidence. I'm sorry, show of confidence. Yeah, we're taking a bunch. Maybe? I made sounds like that was really good. It might be patch. Um, so, attack. Doesn't matter what we attack. If they untap, they kill us. Do that. We have to ditch the show of confidence to have any chance of doing anything, I think. Which is weird and bad. But maybe something. Okay, okay. This is going to be, yeah, weird and bad, like I said. Pay a red to do this. Um, we have to shoot to make a treasure. That makes this mana positive. Deal two damage, yes, make a treasure. This is a bonkers line I've never tried to follow up before. That gets us up to six. We do specifically need a red mana? No. We will have a treasure after this, so that's fine. Sorry, I don't know what I was thinking about. We land Leer. This... Oh, this is nonsense. Um, Ancestral Anger on the dragon. I think we can kill them. They're effectively tapped out, so we should be able to kill them now. We got a show of confidence, which is excellent. Okay. This is what I mean by this deck can... I think I mentioned this deck can be stressful. Yeah, like we went from having no shot of winning this game to I think... I think having the full... full-on combo kill, which is nice. I was hoping I would get to record this. Opponents being a sweetheart and letting me click all the buttons. Mm -hmm. Okay, we need to kill them. We need an egg. Windfall for free. Chuck the island. 36 cards in the library. That's not a huge concern. Love, love getting an egg. So now killing them is just a matter of flipping the egg and casting nine spells. So ditch that fading hope. Ditch that fading hope. Cast our big mana stuff first, just because it flips the egg faster. We are trying to combo semi-efficiently. We don't need another Leer. Okay. There's probably a better way to do this, but... Or not a better way. A slightly faster way. We have... Oh, that speeds up the animation. I didn't actually realize that. Hex proof on the gold span, and then from here, yeah, we just cast all the one mana spells, send them face. The you see a guard approach or anything that's one mana and targets gold span dragon is actually mana positive because the treasures tap for two. And then if you are ever panicking about how much mana you have, a show of confidencing on a dragon is tends to be pretty good. Um, pardon me. Oh, we have another ancestral anger. Ancestral anger is great because it fuels your hand. And, uh, and is also mana positive. Just like a full-on ritual-z, manamorphose -y type of thing. Especially if you have a leer out. Like, if you have a leer and you hit the ancestral angers, hmm, fabulous. Um, let's 
steal to create a treasure token. Normally I would place more emphasis on the draw, but uh, we we have so many cards. Like our opponent is just letting us combo. So do do the full combo. Uh, right, expressive iteration is a little bit slow, doesn't matter at this point how we do it. Spike field hazard to face. Auto pay and pew pew. Oh, this deck is nonsense. Good games. To we lost rank from winning. Oh, rank decay. I'm. Oh god, yeah. I'm not usually at numbers this high. First time that's happened to me. Anyway, good games to the opponent. Loose, baby. Let's talk about you and me. Pretty okay hand. Um, egg into expressive iteration on three. We go first, feeling decent. A one. I'm still not totally confident in the density of show of confidences that that you should play in this deck. Um, I wouldn't hate just subbing out a consider for it because consider can help assemble the combo or like help dig through the deck. There is a new card coming in Kamigawa. Oh, I wish. See the future, grasp the future, something like that. You dig five and cast a two mana or less spell for free. That card seems like it would be good in this deck. Who knows if it is. Leer in hand. Um, Fading Hope, bottom of library, River Glide pathway. Play it out on blue, hold up the Fading Hope, pass the turn back. Yeah, feeling, feeling decent. Normally, yeah, normally I don't play decks with good, really good cards. Like, uh, oppressively good cards. Cough, cough, stare at Leer, cough. Um, this deck was just fun and goofy. The goofy combo kill, it can be really stressful to pilot at times, but playing it off is pretty worth it, pretty... Pretty interesting. Uh, does... They're holding priority with the blood token. They might have a vanishing verse. We're not super sad if one of our eggs gets sniped. Okay. Um, a hand... Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. This is a... Mm, library. <laughs> Sorry, Fading Hope. I do probably need more... Or mana, or like getting double pips of red and blue respectively. Pretty decent. I don't hate just firing off the Ancestral Anger here. I generally do lean towards holding it for the Goldspan Dragon, Speak of the Devil. Um, because it's just very, very good with Goldspan Dragon. But there's no shame in just firing it off to draw through your deck, improve, Improve the consistency or overall power of your hand. Oh, I think we're booting Henrika back to hand immediately. She can sacrifice the Epicure, take out the egg. Mmm, that is an awkward card. Okay. Okay. So, the thing we can do here is hold up Prismari Command, shoot down the Voldar and Epicure once they go to combat. That means if Henrika wants to take out the dragon, she has to sacrifice herself, which is way worse for our opponent. Uh, our opponent. So I think, I think I want to do that. Um, it's definitely what I'm leaning towards. If they throw a curveball our way, we can also just windfall, like ramp into our next turn. I don't. Do we have the kill? Um, really. Pretty fine with Leer. Or, sorry, let's resolve, or sorry, resolve, bin the iteration and I think the show of confidence. E oh, right. I forget that Go Blank exiles like constantly. <laughs> mm, so. I think we windfall away the Prismari command. Not totally sure that's correct. 
but just like keep keep our good chunky boys in hand. That's a lot of land. Okay. Well, that's a lot of dragons. Also, also okay. Don't hate just doing a gold span here. We can windfall pre-combat for free. I think I am going to shoot down the Epicure again, just shuts off the Henrika sacrifice thing. Or again, makes it much more costly. Windfall, draw some cards. Prismari Command's not bad. We can use it to shoot down Henrika, actually, like two damage on Henrika, two damage from the Ashmouth. So I'm reasonably happy to see it. I think we want to sit on Lear for a turn. Um, it will just help improve, like, improve our graveyard stock, basically, if we can Prismari Command, loot some stuff. That's, that's feeling like the move anyway. If they hit us with another go blank, we're maybe kind of sad. Hmm. We're kind of sad, but if we can loop a windfall and stuff... Oh, that's not great. It's not the worst, but it's not great. I'm going to fire off this while it's relatively free. Pew pew. Hey, we get him. Um, even if you don't have a super strong kill, opponents often will not feel like they have, you know, a, a great chance. So you do just, uh, you just occasionally get some free wins. A uh, pretty, pretty fine hand. Yeah, love, love to egg on to iterate on three. Show of confidence, not the most valuable part of our combo to have in our opening hand, but you're never too mad to see it. Our black... we're getting a lot of Rakdos this recording, or like black-red. Hmm. Uh, let's iterate. Stop. Iterate and listen. Prismari command in hand and don't be dismissing. Shatter Skull in Library, Exile the Mountain. I cannot do the entirety of Hayugoku Go Chuinchi. Chuinchi? Chuichi? Uh, as expressive iteration lyrics, it's been a long day, I'm sorry. It's just, you know. <sighs> um, Varagoth. Varagoth is top of Library. I think we might just let them have it. That is a two mana boast. I'm very curious what they're Varagothing for. I'm pretty sure I'm supposed to Fading Hope that, but... I don't wanna. I wanna live dangerously. I want Varagoth to... Varagoth? Varagoth? I want Varagoth to boast for a dank meme. It's probably not a dank meme, it's probably just Lolth or something. But still, I can dream. Uh, going to ditch the show of confidence. This also flips the Ashmouth Dragon, which is handy. Hmm. This is nice. Okay. We might be able to kill them. Um. Auto pay. We should do the Ancestral Anger post combat just to fix our draws if things go bad. Or like, so we're not awkwardly floating mana. I know this looks goofy, but it is the safer-ish way to do it. We also might just be able to kill them. Mm. You see guard approach, so that makes mana in this situation. Um, Hexproof, do we, ah, uh, sure. Let's try to go go hard on the the weird meme kill. Also, Leer is oddly good here. Deal one to our dragon. Cause that deals two to their face anyway, and it generates us mana. Leer, that gives us ancestral anger again. Two ancestral angers and access to show of confidence, so we do have the full combo kill there. And I bounce up nine spots for that. 
Thank you to our opponent for saving time. Yeah, we have we do have the full combo kill there. Um, but our opponent scoops out. Good games to our opponent. Uh, maybe this hand is okay. It's a little bit worrying in that we if we don't draw like turn two, three, four plays, more of them to glue our hand together, it could just fold, but expressive iteration is a ridiculous card. So I think we're okay to okay to keep. Mono white, but it's life gain. Hmm. Going to fire off the and uh no, I'm not sure, actually. I do kind of want to keep it in hand for one of the dragons. Not expressively iterating, because again, just curve up to dragons, that's our that's our kind of main plan right now. If they don't have the, uh, pardon me, Righteous Valkyrie on through, okay, maybe we're fine. Oh, these are some hits. Egg in hand, since, yeah, library, exile, backup clear. Yeah, awkward, but, uh, do this on, maybe red. The dragons will mana fix for Lear if we don't hit a second. Oh no, sorry, we have a duel. What am I talking about? Uh, that, uh, that those hits are making me nervous. Oh boy. Okay. So we should be able to curve out relatively effectively. Mm, Twenty-three, four. Eternal thirst. Okay. Oh, lovely. So, play out that stuff. Um, I do want to sit on this Ancestral Anger. I think. We might try to bounce... Will 100% bounce that Valkyrie? Love a mountain, love... Curving to our giant busto threat. Um, what does this even do against where I didn't really... Uh, creature opponent controls dies, sure. Do our due diligence and stop a point of damage. I think we might just send in this dragon. Wait. We could really try to force a combo right here, but given that we have a redundant or like backup dragon... That gives us a lot more room to pop off next turn, especially if they don't actually kill our dragon, which it's looking it's looking like it's safe. Sorry, I don't know if I mentioned this earlier, but okay, we're golden, we're Gucci, we're made in the shade. Um, there aren't many people in Mythic right now, so we are going to get put against almost exclusively diamond players. Um, yeah, do we want to try to really force this? Why not? Mmm, that... It don't... nope. Never mind. Rescind that statement. <laughs> uh, do a leer. Room for room. Pop you back to hand just for fun, really. Ooh, Windfall is not bad. Um, we could... Now we need to do the egg kill. We have an egg on the field, so let's let's do the sensible kill and not awkwardly force, like, show of confidence, Goldspan Drake and stuff. They're 24, really. If they were lower health, I would go for a direct combat damage kill. Okay, perfect. Good windfall thing. Ditch those mountains. Pew pew. More windfalls. Lovely. Uh, very low risk of fizzling at this point, especially with the graveyard windfalls. This is why Leer is so crucial to this absurd storm game plan. Pew pew. Show of Confidence gives us enormous mana advantage, and then Leer gives us enormous card advantage. And there are two great tastes that taste great together. 
our opponent being being a deer and letting us just fully combo. I'm just gonna windfall to finish. Oh, there we go. Um, I think I'm going to wind down the recording session there. We cracked top 10. Lovely. You love to see it. I'm gonna just stop the recording session there. It's been a long day. I hope y'all have enjoyed the deck. Uh, we had a bit of a lucky run during this recording. There can be some iffy matches. Mono White is probably the worst matchup just because they can be really fast. Um, aside from that though, like even Mono Green is relatively 50-50 and then I consider Black and Orzov favorable usually. But yeah, anyway, if you enjoyed the video, yay! Click buttons. I don't know. Thanks. Bye!